after Leangelo messed up LeVar's initial plan, LeVar has a plan B, which is probably really like a plan Z. It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cup, and I pass a lot to my bro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. BBN Jack Frost, what's up, party people? Hey, before the video we even continue, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. All right, look, first thing I want to say is this. I don't really cover the balls that often. And the reason being is I think a lot of the stuff that they're doing is just buffoonery and coonery. I mean, I'm not mad at them. I'm not hating. But when it's a, it's a specific individual that's a celebrity or whatever it is, and I don't have a lot of, like, positive comments to be I, – I don't want to be a hate channel. I don't want to be a, a channel that I'm just talking about people that I don't like. I just – and I don't really care for uh, the way that the balls do some of the things in which they do. I think that they're hurting themselves often. Um, they had a, a good deal with WWE. The son goes on there. He can't control himself. He says the N-word. <laughs> then they go over to China with UCLA to another country. And then the other son goes and he tries to, you know, get the five-finger discount for a couple of things. So... You know, it, it just seems to me like these are just kids that needs to be watched and they need to be uh, monitored. And um, it seems like uh, I it, it seems like Lonzo's the 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 only one that you know uh, he's the only one that might be built for this. Um, his game obviously he needs to score more, but anyway, like, that's not that's not that's neither here nor there. So um, the balls. As <laughs> God dang it, Lavar um Lavar has signed or he's he's about to have Leangelo and Lamelo sign with a team in Lithuania. Yeah, exactly. They went from playing for UCLA, where they're gonna have all the eyes of the world on them, damn yeah, to playing for a team in Lithuania. I don't know. If that's not hustling backwards, I don't know what is. Um, so if they have any deficiencies, they're gonna get it disposed, exposed, pardon me. Because uh disposed, exposed, because it, it seems to me like none of them really plays defense. Uh, that's one of the issues that that um Oh, man, the oldest brother, <laughs> Lonzo, has... Because I'm thinking La, because all of them is like Leangelo, LaMelo, LaVar. So I'm like, what the hell? Anyway, that's the that's the, one of the issues that, in my opinion, that Lonzo has now. He can't stay in front of anybody. So, who even you know, he's, he's going to get a couple of points, you know, like eight or nine points. But the guy he's guarding is probably going to get 20 and better because he can't stay in front of anybody because his defense is just terrible. And over there... Uh, you know, uh, when he when they go play in the, these places where teams are much more disciplined, I just don't see that being conducive with them having a good career over there. Um, obviously, they want to get looked at and then they want to come back to America and then play basketball. But also, you have to look at it like this. They're going to have no supervision over there. They're going to be over there. La Lavar's going to be here in America. They're going to be over there in Lithuania playing basketball. And these guys can't even go to freaking... One of the sons can't go to freaking China for fucking for, for five days without getting in trouble and, and, and quite possibly sending himself to freaking prison for the next 10 years. And the other son can't go on freaking television for 10 minutes without saying some words he's not supposed to be saying. So there's just no telling with these guys what might happen. Anyway, just want to let y'all know the Bulls have decided to... I, I, I can't even say double down. Um, I don't know what they decided to do, but... Whatever they decided to do, I don't think that's a good look personally. But yo, you see how it plays out. Maybe they go over there, ball out. They do what they're gonna do. Um, they say that the guy that's gonna be their coach is the Lithuania's Lavar Ball. So maybe it's a good fit. Maybe he's gonna be able to get them to you know play because um, sooner or later, Lamelo is gonna have to play defense. He might as well start now, right? Because he plays none now, plays <laughs> no D. So sooner or later, he's gonna have to play defense. Might as well start now. Anyway, uh, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. But look, I love y'all, man.
teach a kid a sport, please teach him both sides of the sport, defense and offense, if they exist in that sport. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.